What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here to watch some Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 8 is the one that I'm on. And uh, I haven't watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood in quite a while. It's September right now, getting close to the end of September. And uh, I haven't watched since like March maybe. It's been a, it's been a while. So yeah, I probably forgot a lot about what happens, especially with this show, because it seems like a lot happens in like each episode. So like you gotta like you gotta like really pay attention. Yeah, in the last episode, I know we met a new character named Sheska. She was the one that like has a really good memory, and she memorized that the research that uh, Marco had left. Who, by the way, his his place was like all burnt down but she memorized that thing and she made she made handwritten copies or whatever she she came in clutch basically um also with the uh the research thing it was like it seemed like it was a cookbook but like all of it was like code or whatever yeah the other thing that happened was the brothers went to uh this laboratory where we kind of left off at and it seems like they uh they kind of got found out so i'm sure that they're gonna continue on with that in this episode also we found out that uh the philosopher stone is like created with uh human sacrifices so that's uh that's no bueno man so we're not gonna we're not gonna make a philosopher stone that way i guess we could find already existing ones but yeah so I don't know. We'll see what happens with this. Uh, like I said, with this show, you gotta like really pay attention because it seems like freaking so much freaking happens in every single episode. But uh, yeah, let's get into this thing. If you're enjoying this content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I might shave my beard at it once I get to a thousand subscribers. We'll see about that, man. I like this thing. I'm starting to get really attached. Anyways, let's get into this. This laboratory. Who are you? I'm number 66. Well, number that's the 66. name they gave me when I came to work here anyway. I'm going to cut you up nice and neat. But what are you? Is the All you question. have to do is sit back and scream. I bet this is what they use to transmute a philosopher's stone. Yes, that's right. I'm just good like that. Who are you, pal? The one in charge of guarding this place from curious brats. For the moment, let's just say. Are these all like people that are kind of like, uh. And believe me, uh, I'm not sure. Pal. Or, or My orders are to dispose of anyone who wanders in here, poking his nose where it doesn't belong. Try not to take it personally, boy. All right, I won't. <laughs> Try not to take it personally when this boy kicks your ass. Hmm. You're an alchemist, are you? Oh, right, quick. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> my, my, what's this? I'm going to go out on a limb here and say you're hollow inside. Mm, that's what I was thinking. I can tell from the sound. I spar against someone like you all the time. So there are people like me on the outside too, are there? That's surprising. At least one. Yeah, it makes me sick to think there's more than one idiot in the world who came up with the brilliant idea of bonding a disembodied soul to a suit of armor. Hmm. Perhaps I should introduce myself again. 48 is the number I was assigned when I was on death row. So you were slated for execution. Tell me something then. This laboratory, are they using condemned prisoners like you to make philosopher's stones here? Well, I can't tell you. It isn't my area. I'm sure they gave you a seal, too, to serve as a medium between soul and armor? Yes, I have a blood seal. This is it right here. If you destroy this, the fight's yours. Mm. That's awfully considerate of you to show me your weak spot. Now, that's Got a fine. point. Major Armstrong still in charge of the boys' protective detail? He was, but a couple of his men have taken over now. <laughs> We've been played! I thought it was suspiciously quiet. 
right here. <laughs> Major Armstrong's gonna take his shirt off again and yell at us some more, isn't he? Those brats are going to pay. Do they even think about Let's get used to it. Let's go, Sergeant. Huh? To the fifth laboratory. Of something I don't know what you're gonna think of but you you are gonna think of something what a cute little monkey you start using your alchemist skills oh nice Alphonse Named Barry, who loved his work, so he took to the streets and began cutting up. This is him, isn't it? Night after night. Oh, these people are sick. In time, of course, Barry was caught. This is some horror movie type of three victims had thing. fallen prey to him and his knife. But our story isn't over yet. We haven't even reached the good part. Barry isn't actually dead, you see. He's very much alive. Sorry, I've never heard of you. I'm from a little town in the east, so... Fine! But even if you don't know who I am, shouldn't you at least be a little scared? Or something? Ah! What happened to your body, freak? Hey, now that's impolite. Oh, I see. Then what happened to you? It's kind of a long story. When I lost my body, my brother transmuted my soul and bonded it to this armor. Your brother? <laughs> of course, your brother! <laughs> What's so funny about it? Are you sure that you're not a puppet created and controlled by your so-called brother? <gasps> Were you ever even a real person to begin with? How can you ask something like that? I was a real boy and my name was Alphonse Elric. <laughs> How can you be so sure of that? I have memories. I remember who I was before. And who's to say those memories aren't made up? <gasps> then how do you know that you were really alive? I was, trust me. This area's off limits. Don't move. <laughs> the brother is that good, is he? Then I'll have to hurry up and defeat you so I can get her up to taking care of him. Go out! Do it now! What? That was dirty! There's no such thing as dirty in a fight! <laughs> There's something I need to ask you about. The Philosopher's Stone? Yes. Tell me everything you know about it. Sorry, can't. Impossible! His crimes were really done by a pair of brothers. An independent head and body? That's a dirty trick! I don't think so! I'm not going to give you time to trend you! <laughs> Number 48, you should know better than to talk about things that don't concern you. How did 
did you find out about this place? <laughs> Brother! 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 Do you understand me? You could have messed up the entire plan! What would we have done then? Huh? Tell me who you people are. What plan are you talking about? What do you mean when you say important sacrifice? Oh my, the pipsqueak's raring to go. I think I made it angry. Whoa now. This is a fight that you started, so come on! Technical difficulties. Lucky me! You're fortunate your arm's broken. Listen to me well, boy. Don't ever forget this. Always remember we allowed you to live. We can't have him poking around this place again. It's too dangerous. It'll have to go. Blow it up. Are you sure you're not a puppet created by your so-called brother? Were you ever even a real person to begin with? You're wrong! Uh, just accept it. You'll feel better! <laughs> you're mine now, little puppet! Yeah, we I gotta get him. His life's not in danger, but he has lost a lot of blood, so you might want to get him to a hospital as soon as you can. Created by your so called Come on, does he actually? Uh, I guess I would wonder that too. Anyways, Edward and Alphonse, they were fighting some other people who had their souls bound to armor. That was definitely interesting to see, you know, other people who were like that. Uh, but these guys were a little bit different because they were like that because um, they were both uh, people who were sentenced to die because they did horrible horrible things and so uh, they got their souls bound to armor and now they guard this this laboratory but uh, Edward he kind of got he uh, channeled his inner Naruto and he, he used his words to uh, get to the slicer dude and the slicer dude, he was going to talk. He was going to talk about the, you know, what he knew about the uh, Philosopher's Stone. So uh, yeah, he was gonna spill the beans, but then uh, freaking Lust and the other thing came in and um, I call it a thing because it's like, is it a he or a she? And it's a thing. It, it's an it. It can transfer into, it can transfer, transform into like anything any other person so it's an it okay that is an it so lust and uh the other thing came in and <laughs> killed those guys it's like dude seriously they're about to talk we're about to get some useful information uh, i feel like that's how this show is probably going to keep going like it's like it's going to seem like we're getting close closer and closer to something and then it's just like freak. stuff happens and gets ruined yeah and freaking edward's arm it wasn't working right but uh he was made aware of that anyways that was a good episode seriously though it's like every episode is like its own like freaking thing so i'm sure there's some of those uh, there's more like those dudes had numbers like their names were numbers uh pretty high numbers so there's probably a bunch of others they're like that right and we have alphonse he's wondering if he's even if he was ever a real boy which i'm sure that he was i get why he's you know questioning that because pro he probably never thought of that he was like huh i just hate like that freaking butcher guy he was like why don't you freaking try to kill yourself and then if you die 
then that means you are human. What the f- Okay. You could literally say that to anybody. You could say that to people who are, you know, flesh and bones. You'd be like, oh, like, what if you're living in a simulation? Why don't you try to, you know, just freaking end yourself? And if you die, you're, that means you're real. So, what? What? Okay, I'll do that. What the frick are you talking about, dude? Anyway. Cool, that was a good episode. I'm excited to be back watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. It's a good show. It's different. It's definitely different than like any other anime that I've that I've seen or watched. It's got a very, very different, like different vibes to it, different feelings. And it's pretty dark, dude. Anyways, that's gonna do it for the reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And of course, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.